Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video, man. Keeping you guys up to date every single day, the latest Chelsea news, even if, man, it's so ill right now, okay? Still ill, the content somehow has to come out. Apologies for no stream. The streaming's back tomorrow around 6 p.m. UK time, but big, big Chelsea news. Another one, like DJ Khaled would say, another signing that we do need to get into. Before I do, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get at least 250 likes. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And keep liking the video for me to get better, man. Prayers. One like, one prayer, people. For Bits Romano, there we have it, people. PSV's winger, Mr. Noni, of course. Here we go. Verbal agreement in place with PSV on a permanent deal around 35 million package. He'll sign a long-term deal in a few days, strongly wanted by Chelsea board. Contracts being prepared. Board complete. London via Turkish Airlines, people. There we have it. Big, big Chelsea news. And obviously, yesterday, as you can see in my background, we were talking about Casado. We were speaking about this winger, of course. And I didn't think it would be this quick. We were expecting new agents with the Brighton midfielder that will be talking about him. But today, we are signing Noni, of course, which is fantastic news. The new look of this team is looking very bright, people. Whether it's Jao Felix stays on a permanent permanent deal in the summer. Obviously, we've got Modric. We've got this player now. We've got um, Nkenku. Things are looking bright. We're not looking for that typical number nine striker. We're trying to build a team around great players, great talent people. This is uh, very, very exciting times, man. So let me know what you guys are thinking about this deal. I think for £27 million, roughly, I think it's a fantastic deal in today's market, especially with the money that we've been spending recently. I expect players to be leaving very, very soon. What does that mean for players like uh, Pulisic, Hakan Ziyech? And I've been saying, I need this squad gone, okay? This is Aspi, this is Jorginho, this is Pulisic, Ziyech, Hudson, whoever you guys want to put in the list, they need to go. We need a fresh start in this football club, okay? Now, when you look at the players, of course, we've got Nkenku, Modric, Felix, uh, Maduki, of course, Kovacic, Casado, maybe, Chilwell, uh, Balashev, of course, Fofana, James and Kepa at the moment. And you know what? I don't expect these deals to be done. You know, I don't think our business is finished from what I'm reading. Jacob, of course, um, we're hearing from French journalists as well, also saying Chelsea have more business to do, people. So it's going all out there, 100%, man. This is... Massive news, of course. I, I'm very, very pleased to see this signing. Um, obviously, CFCP is one of my guys. Around 30 million. Here we go, of course. I might need to use that as a thumbnail, my friends. Yeah, I might use that as a thumbnail, 100%. Hopefully, he doesn't mind that. Um, <clears throat> Santi is a journalist I was talking about. Of course, it is not finished. French source on Chelsea's deal uh, this week. Chelsea aren't stopping after this signing as all well, people. So we are going all out. Now, I've been saying as all well, that we need a midfielder. We need a right back. We need someone to cover Reese James. Yes, Reese James is back. Yes, Ben Chill is back. Yes, Kante is back, people. So I hope these players come into the team slowly. I've stressed so many times. I understand, you know, if they're fully fit, if they've got the green light to go ahead, play them. It's all good. But if you want to play them, bring them off early, bring them on the last 15, 20 minutes, let them get into shape slowly. Same with Kante. I don't expect to see him until end of Feb, personally. Realistically, if we sign a wing back for an emergency to cover Reese James, I will be happy for Reese James to sit out. This season is a write-off in the Premier League. The Champions League, however, I am not giving up on the Champions League. I know Chelsea can perform in the Champions League. These one-off games, Chelsea do really, really well. Even last season, we were very, very close. Unfortunately, of course, VAR let us down. And hopefully now, um, Chelsea can kind of rebuild that momentum and, and hopefully Graham Potter can have something to look forward to because in the league, we don't look good enough. I think against Liverpool on Saturday will be a positive result. I think we will win. Uh, and I know that's shocking because we've been, you know, below par. But Liverpool have been a form. I think the new signings that we're bringing, I hope Modric plays. I hope he plays against Trent. I hope he destroys him. I've been watching him in training. Fantastic. One twos, him, Felix. Obviously, Felix not playing yet, but him, Felix, at least the energy, the vibes will be a lot better, man. Because obviously, players like Mason Mount, you know, some of you guys might say Gallagher was decent last game. Yes, the work rate was always there. Maybe his work rate was a lot better. Mount 
but these guys are not good enough for Chelsea Football Club. Okay, I've been saying Hakim Ziyech, yes, didn't celebrate, cold celebration, of course, where he just walked with his with his shoulders, and I rate that celebration. But it's time to move on from these guys. It's time to move on. It's time for a fresh start next season. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I have to give it a 10 out of 10 effort for the new owners in terms of signings. Very, very impressive signings. I didn't expect this many signings, but it's looking good. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing who actually leaves, though. Are, is, are any of these guys going to leave in January? That's another question. Maybe we are done with the, pla- with the likes of Ziyech and Pulisic. Maybe these guys will actually go. Um, Team Arena was speaking to Nkunku about um, giving 100% at Chelsea. Um, no matter how you play, you have to adapt and all this stuff. Obviously, Team Arena's 100%. I will take any day of the week right now because what we see on the pitch isn't good enough. At least with Werner, we were missing chances. Nowadays, we don't even get chances. So that is everything in terms of, wow, well, done deal. This this happened in the space. I think this was already done. I saw a PSV pages talking about it like one or two hours ago saying it's done. Um, but obviously, I don't know how reliable this was. So I wanted to wait. And obviously, some people say tapping merchants. Some people say brown envelope. Some people say whatever. But it's done, people. It is done. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed it. Once that's gone, obviously, so recently, he hasn't been perfect. But even David Ornstein said the same thing as well, people. So this deal is going to be done. What formation can we see from this? This is a good question. I think, you know, maybe a 4 3 3. I'm hoping we start to play four at the back soon. Uh, you know, I enjoy, well, sometimes I do enjoy the five at the back where Reese James and, and Ben Chill can attack the flanks. But I think we just need to go back to the original plan and have four at the back. And hopefully from there, we just see some magic, man. Up top, I want to see some magic. In midfield, okay, Casado, 75 million they want. Chelsea want to offer 65 million. I'm sure with installments, you guys can get that through, man. Otherwise, it's going to have to be a Declan Rice signing of 80 million. Arsenal won him. Arsenal fans think they were the first team looking at Declan Rice and then Chelsea have come in. My friends, Chelsea have been looking at this guy for two or three years, according to reports. Uh, Declan Rice, a former common player, best friend than Mason Mount. I don't want him personally, but uh, you know, if we're not going to pay extra 10 50 million for Casado, then it looks like we could go for Declan Rice. Maybe we might go for a cheeky last minute Enzo Fernandez bid. Um, if we pay the release clause, then we go out there. The problem is the Mudrick signing was spreaded. You know, we don't have to pay all this, all this money up front, the 100 million euros or. 95 million euros. It doesn't have to be up front. He's only earning 97,000 a week as well. So all the all the rival fans are in the mud talking about Chelsea offered this, Chelsea offered that. Arsenal contacted the player directly without permission back in October. The CEO of Shakhtar was not happy. Okay, Chelsea gave a better payment option with these installments. Same as Arsenal, but a lot more feasible, a lot more accurate, a lot more achievable in short term. So fair play to Chelsea, they're not on the business, right? And 97000 a week, that's less than Hudson Odoi, people. People might say, I'll stick it on Pulisic and Ziyech. That's less than Hudson Odoi. That's the same as Mason Mount. I think Mason Mount's around this fee as well. Um, but that's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. Still excited. A lot of you guys are worried about his injury prone. The injuries are short term, not, you know, massive, massive uh, issues. But there were too many in terms of quantity he keeps getting injured people injured left right center people say it's just muscle are just you know not serious injuries like acls and that but it's still concerned that chelsea are signing players that are always kind of injured sometimes so hopefully it fixes up hopefully he isn't as injured anymore at chelsea um but yeah the future is bright people i know two or three years ago i was saying the future is bright when son havertz and verna taylor silver and zh and chilwell at least we won the Champions League that time. This time, can we win the Champions League? Maybe. Next season, Premier League? Maybe. Depends. Do we stick with Potter? Can we can we, can we continue and, and you know try and improve the project, man? The project is going to be difficult, but we have to adapt. We actually have to adapt, people. We are making these signings. We have the manager. The manager's going through a difficult time. It's going to be a bad season. But at least now we know that's it. We go ahead, people. So, guys, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let at least 250 likes get me to 31k subscribers. Subscribe always, tune in daily. Tomorrow's stream around 6 p.m. UK time. 
come and say hello while we speak about this one. Until then, one more else, guys. I'm out. Peace.